welcome back to the channel. Today I am here at Epcot Center to try out some of the new things for Food and Wine Festival and not only that, check out some construction updates because there's been a lot of news about D23 that recently surfaced. So we're gonna talk about it and jump right in. So without any further ado, let's enjoy this beautiful day. So literally upon entering the park, you see a lot of construction updates right here. They're literally gonna be transforming all of this right here in different views. In the concept art from D23, there's been a lot of brand new information. This whole area here, the hub, and more down in Future World, this all is gonna change to more scenery in a sense. Um, for the concept art, it's gonna be right here on the screen so you can check it out and see how it looks. Overall, it looks amazing. And further down the path right here, you gotta take a picture with Walt Disney's statue where he's sitting down. Um, that right there is going to be an interesting view because that's a completely different photo op than we normally take with Walt Disney statue in front of Magic Kingdom. So it's simply amazing. Let's check out the new construction update at uh, Guardians of the Galaxy new roller coaster. Again, there's a lot of going on. There's been new things. So let's go in and check it out. What's new to see? Just to give you guys a point of reference of what's been happening, honestly. There was just a hurricane recently, Hurricane Doreen, and because of that, I've been checking the app recently, and all the wait times, including the brand new ride, um, Smuggler's Run, Star Wars, Smuggler's Run, is at a low, low wait. So, it's probably a pretty much a good time to come over to Walt Disney World and check out if you're able to fly in and book a reservation, because due to the hurricane, a lot of things got pushed back for people's vacationing and reservations. So that did affect for tourists, but for locals, for like myself, not so much because there's minimum people here and there's more things to do. Um, but yeah, but thank God nothing happened to us. Everything is safe and sound here at Walt Disney World and back home. Thank God. Um, so without any further ado, let's go straight to Guardians of the Galaxy and see what is the new things we can see for the brand new roller coaster. Lily, right in front of Test Track, there is actually a stage right here for the Food Wine Festival. And on select days, it actually tells you what's happening for the International Food Wine Festival. This dance party actually takes place from Sunday to Thursday from 5.30 to 8.30 p.m. And I may come by and see it later on today because it's still pretty early. It's just like, what, 2 in the afternoon? And here are all the lineups for the people. So here we are. This is pretty much the entrance to the new attraction ride known as Guardian of the Galaxy Roller Coaster. So all of this right here will be the show building. The actual track will go up the hill into the show building on the back side right there. And so on the website that is really trusted, the WDW News Today, they talked about the new name of the attraction, which is known as Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind. Um, this ride at Epcot will be featured at a first reverse launch into space. This thrilling family-friendly attraction will be featured in Never Before Seen Storytelling course coaster that rotates to forces on the action. Um, Disney will also reveal also reveal that the attraction will be will be in fact by Disney Park's first reverse launch coaster and this honestly looks amazing just like the literally the view of it of how it looks from the parking lot it looks amazing spectacular there's a lot of um weights for this attraction they still haven't announced any days the date or the year people are still speculating this might be ready uh for 2020 however most likely this attraction will be ready for 2021 for the 50th anniversary of walt disney world but don't you worry, I am coming back to check on up this and give you guys the update news of what's been happening for this roller coaster. But as of right now, this is the view. And I think it's time to walk around a little bit and check out what's here for Food and Wine Festival this year. So I actually got a International Food and Wine um, Festival book letting us know what are some, some merchandise, the location of food and everything. And there are some special limited edition uh, merchandise for the Food and Wine Festival right here. You have a cutting board right here. You have a baseball sleeve, baseball shirt right here. And you have a special limited edition magic band of Minnie Mouse, Chef Minnie Mouse to be precise. Um, a mug, a pop, I believe. Oh, I don't know if they sell pops here. And a, special, and a thermos of a cup right here. 
There's a lot, and I do mean there is a lot, a lot of good things here. If you are if you are a food person, I highly recommend you guys checking this out because they have some exquisite food in different pavilions. So they have a Hawaii section, they have a, a cheese studio, a chocolate studio. You know how I do like chocolate and that is very, very tempting right now. Um, active eating, um, there's also a specific, uh, Mexico, they have some special food, Australia, Thailand, the Caribbeans. Oh my God, there are so many good things food right here and I'm definitely gonna check some of those out. Most likely I'm gonna try Hawaii because they have some really, really nice food the last time I checked. Um, but honestly, I'm, just, I'm pretty much gonna stop talking right now and just go inside right now and check out the land right now. Let's go. So literally, we're walking towards Mexico and the first stop right here is the Islands of Caribbean and I did see they have some delicious empanadas. Roja Vieja empanadas, that sounds delicious right here. With, um, with served with tomato alani. Hmm. Pretty much as a, pretty much like with meat at freezer, but I'm probably gonna hold off. I'm gonna walk around first everywhere before I decide to get at least one thing from Food and Wine. And of course, you know who I'm with. Hey. Of course. Um, so we're gonna continue walking around and overall just check out what Food and Wine offers right here. So we just got into Mexico right now, and in their menu, they have. Taco de poquera, tostada de carne, um, capatillo de chocolate, man, that chocolate, the chocolate, divino, delicious, sounds so good. Oh my gosh, I should keep on walking because there's so many good things on the list. Here in the Africa Pavilion, they have a lot of tasty meats. So if you're a meat person, but definitely I recommend it. You have the barbecue beef tenderoning, that looks delicious. You have the PP seaweed shrimp, man, that this one's so good and the spicy Kenny vegan uh, githnery githery githery I think that's how you pronounce it but man this looks so good right now oh my god that looks delicious para mi gente que son españoles como yo who are hispanic like me they have a chataturi in the cone they have a spanish style paella oh my god Gosh, that paella looks so good. Oh my gosh, if you're Hispanic, you love paella. I know for a fact. And you have the seafood salad. Oh my gosh. And honestly, this right here, para mi, lo comería. I'll eat it hands down. That looks so good right there. Oh my god. In the Japan Pavilion, they have a teriyaki chicken bun. My god, that looks so good right now with chicken, vegetables, and sweet teriyaki sauce. That is worth it, it's delicious. You also have a frothy ramen and a spicy roll. You know what? I'm gonna get one right now. I'm gonna get this one right here, right now. So I'm literally about to try the dumpling right now. Um, and honestly, this right here looks so good right here. So here we, so here we go, first bite. For you guys who love teriyaki sauce, chicken, and the little vegetables in the middle, you're gonna love this by far because this is truly, truly delicious. For me to describe it exactly, the outside part, it's super soft. Nothing crispy or anything, but the inside is just perfectly, perfect temperature, perfect tree, and everything is truly, Truly is delicious. Um, I'm pretty much gonna stop talking right now. I'm just gonna finish eating this because it's so good. And we're gonna continue walking around to the rest of Epcot to see what other things we can see. So here in Ireland, they have a few more. They have the roasted Irish sausage, warm Irish cheddar and stoke dip, I believe, and a warm chocolate pudding with Irish cream liquor. I am so tempted by it, but I don't drink. So, I'm upset, but it looks so good. Oh my God, I, I'm upset. I can't have it, I'm so upset. And towards the end of all of Shortcase, here is the last one of 
by here will be the Hawaii area and they have the Kalua pork sliders, grilled tuna tataki, teriyaki glaze sam, splant, spam hash, man I can't talk right now, and a passion fruit cheesecake. My god, that looks all so good right now. Oh my gosh. I will definitely come back and grab this next time. There will be a next time, so I'm definitely going to cop one of these delicious treats right here. Well, Soren only a 10 minute wait. Let's just hop on and go on an adventure. Soren to town. We are ready for takeoff. Well, that will conclude today's video here at Epcot Center. There was a lot of things to check out. There was also many new things that we saw and the Food and Wine Festival was in high gear and simply amazing. Thank you so much for coming back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button, do the bell icon to be notified when brand new videos are up and follow me on Instagram at Jose Andres. Link to that will be down in the description below. Until next time guys, I'll see you then.